In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to download and install MEMP server in your Mac operating system. So in order to download and install the MEMP server here, I will just search in the Google by download MEMP. And here you will see that the download options come. I am going to visit the website. Just click here. And you will see that here are the MEMP options. There are two items here. One is free version for MEMP and another one is MEMP Pro version. MEMP Pro version is not needed for me. I am just okay with the free version. So I am going to click on the MEMP and it will take you to download it free on your operating system. So here you see that here are total some items here. I am going to use the Apple M1 M2, this CPU. I have this one. So I am going to click on this option. So this Mac will be started to be downloaded in my operating system. Okay, so just wait for it for some times and it will be downloaded. So just uh, wait for some times for it to um, finish the download. The MEM download is now completed. So I am going to uh, the option show in finder. So here you see that this is the package that is just downloaded for MEM. So I am going to double click here and you will see an interface. So this is the installation interface. I'm going to click on continue. Then again, click on continue. Then again, click on continue. Then I will click on agree. Then just install. Here I will have to give the password of my operating system, my Mac login password. So, okay, it is going to be installed. Just wait for some time and it will be installed within few moments. So the installation is successful. I am going to click on close. It is asking you if you want to remove the main installer file. You can keep or move. Yeah, I am going to keep it now. Okay, I am now going to my applications. In the applications, you will see that there is a MEM Pro and MEM version. I will not go to the Pro. I will just use the MEM. Okay, so click here. Then here you will see that here is a HT Docs folder and in the HT Docs folder I can create anything for my project. So here what I can do I can create here uh, a new folder for example in this location I am going to create a new folder here uh, for example test and in the test folder I am going to create a uh, file that can be a PSP file okay so in order to create a PSP file here what I will do I will just uh, um, open here a new terminal at this folder. So the folder location will be here that is test. So here I will create a PSP file. So I am going to use the task command and here for example I am going to create a PSP file by my name rfin.psp. So a file is created here. Now I am going to open my VS code editor. Now from here I am going to uh, here open folder then I am going to applications then there is map and there is HT docs and this is the test folder I am going to open that folder. I trust the authors this is the file I created. Now I can write here anything what I want any PHP code for example this is my fast PHP code I am very mass excited okay something like this now I am going back to my browser and here what I will do in the map there is a control panel so I will have to run the control panel in the map you know that here is a map this icon so into map in this icon I am going to double click it so after the double click you see that the mem uh, will be started now so here you see that a start button here in the top i am going to click here then apache could not be started because port is in use some other software uh, okay so what i can do i am going from here you can also shift the psp version okay i am going to use the latest psp version here now again click on start uh, okay, I am going to the preference and here you see that ports if you want you can change the ports for example 
I am going to change the Apache port 8000. So okay. Now I am going to click on the start. But in your case, probably you will not be uh, able to see any uh, problem in this case because your port will probably not be used by any other software. But in my case, I actually used a jam server uh, before it. So it is probably making a problem. So no problem. I am going just to change the ports. So after changing the ports, I am going to click on the start and now you'll see that it will be started. So it is still making problems. So I am going to make another port. Okay. So here, for example, eight five or for example, nine zero. Okay. Nine zero here, nine zero. And here my skill port, I also change it eight, eight, nine zero. So I am going to click here in the OK button now. Now I go to click on the start. But here you see that localhost it will not work actually. I will have to give the port number 90 yes this is working now so this is working perfectly i am now going to run the php my admin here actually i will have to give the port number 90 yeah now it is working so in both cases i have changed the port number so you can uh, give here any port that is not used by other software in your application so just uh, remember it other uh, and it will work no problem from here you can easily create a new database yes everything is working so in this way you can easily install mem on your mac operating system and you can run the apache server and run the php codes and you can also run the php my admin to manage your database and tables